Today we're going to go over how to use the Vox Pro by Wheatstone. So here we have the interface. The first button we're going to go over is the record button. And as you can see from our levels, you get my voice talking. Hi, hello. This is Corey on 89.1 WPHS, the x Isle Radio. So we've got that recording going on right there. As soon as you're done recording what you want to record, obviously you are going to hit stop. And that'll stop it right there. Now you're probably wondering what this button is right here. It's not really a button. It's actually a scroll. And you can kind of go through your audio and edit certain parts as you need to. Now let's say I want to know exactly what this part is right here. I'm going to hit play. So we've got that recording going on right there. I can hit stop. Now let's go ahead and go all the way back to the beginning of our uh, track. So I'm going to hit this button right up here. And it takes us all the way back to the beginning. Now, uh, if I am further down the road again, let's say back over here, and I want to play from the beginning so it plays right away, instead of hitting that and then play, I could just hit this button, play beginning and it will automatically start to play. And the, while well, it's the beginning button, button and the play button all at the same time combined into this one button. Other things to keep in mind, uh, maybe this spinning deal is a bit too much. You could also move around with these arrows, these left and right arrows. Uh, I could hold down on it and it'll get me to where I want to be or I could hold this one. Maybe that's a little too fast for you. You could do this, and that will play at normal speed. It will also help you be able to hear where you're at in the edit as you're learning how to read and pick up on the waveforms. And the bottom one, the small arrow, is, as you can imagine, slow motion. One of the most important things you need to know from doing this is how to mark certain things. So let's say this section right here. Let's say I want to cut that or move that or just edit something to do with that. I'm going to make a mark. So if you look right here, it says mark left. So I've marked that part of it. And I could do mark right. And now you see it's highlighted that section. I could do a couple of things with that. Uh, I could go ahead and delete it, which I'm not going to right now or I could cut it. So let's go ahead and cut it and move it to the beginning of it. So you see this red line. This is going to say where that pasting action is going to happen. I'm going to go ahead and hit paste. And now this is Corey on 89.1 WPHS, the X Isle radio. Now, if I just want to play the section, similarly to playing from the beginning, I just hit play selection. This is Corey on 89.1 WPHS, the x Isle radio. And it will just play that selection for us. Now, let's say that we want to record or edit something that's already been recorded. We don't necessarily want to record something new. And I could either import something or I could drag something in. So I'm going to go ahead and drag something in down here, and it pops up right there. If you come over to this button right here, it will say toggle multi-track mode. You could edit multiple tracks that way, and then if you hit this fire button, it will come up with hotkeys. Now, what are hotkeys? Hotkeys are uh, different buttons. So let's say we record a caller and then we want to go right into a legal ID, kind of what we just played. I could do something similar as what I did before and I could drag that legal ID into one of my hotkeys. And there are lots of hotkeys to choose from. So now what I could do is I could play this whole thing and then with one button play that legal ID. You're listening to 89.1 WPHS the XL radio. 89.1 WPHS XL radio. Broadcasting live from Warren in Sterling Heights. 
In case you didn't see what I did, as soon as this got done playing the main recording track, I hit this hotkey, which we had already assigned to play the legal ID. You can also see on the right hand side, I've got those two tracks. One that was the legal ID that we put in there, not the one in the hotkey, but the one that we added just to test it out, and our test track. I could actually move between those two things. Uh, with this bottom arrow, I can move between those two things. With this top arrow, I can move between my different hotkeys. So as you can see on the interface, there are five hotkeys, but you could put many, many more hotkeys in there. In fact, it's almost an unlimited amount. You just go ahead and push the down arrow and that will change what number hotkeys there are. And you could have to go to your mouse, but you could include more pages of hotkeys as you need to. So the pages just keep on adding up as you need them. For deselection, as you could probably imagine, ooh, that sounds strange. If you mark a selection, and you decide you don't want to select that anymore, you hit deselection, and it will obviously deselect. Another really useful tool to use if you're editing and you want to mark something and you want to be just precise. So I'm going to hit zoom and I'm going to go in and I could see things a little bit more up close. And so I could have a more precise mark. You could go zoom twice and then get even more into it. Now, if you get this far and everything looks different and now it's hard to edit on, don't worry. It only zooms in twice. When you hit zoom the third time, it goes right back to normal. And at the beginner level, that is how you use the Vox Pro. There's a couple other buttons on here that uh, we didn't really go over like OK or Control and then Shift. That stuff you will learn as you get more involved with the Vox Pro. But this tutorial was just how to get started with the basics. And now here's the incredibly complicated way to record phone calls. This should not be how it is. You should just be able to pick up the phone and have the Vox Pro already start recording. But uh, unfortunately, we are not that lucky at this very moment. So hopefully that changes. But for now, this is, uh, this is how it is.